Hello my Sock Universe and welcome to the first of my three year-end review videos for 2023. Today we're looking at my top 10 favorite jerseys from 23 and a few more because I wanted to give it a little bit more an exhaustive feel. I actually have been thinking a lot about these uh, throughout the year and especially over the last few days. But before that a few ground rules are in need because I had to narrow my search overall. I include national team jerseys released this year. I include league jerseys from the previous season if they have been released this year. Although none of them actually made the top 10 but I will have a, get a mention in there. Um, I will include of all the eight leagues that I'm uh, looking at, which is the Austrian Bundesliga. We have um, the uh, English Premier League. I have the French League. Uh, I have the German Bundesliga. I have Serie A. I have the Eredivisie. It is Liga Nosch and it's of course La Liga. I look at all these jerseys and also went in crucially, crucially also went into the second tier. Had also a look over all the jerseys in the current European competitions, Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League. And that was more or less my pool. It's already a pretty exhaustive pool. Uh, as I am not collecting, and this was a really hard decision to make for myself a few year, year, years ago, but I decided to not collect from outside of Europe and especially outside of these leagues. I mean, I'm expanding into Europe a little bit more. Uh, so there's no South American jerseys, but there's always great jerseys. There's no doubt about it. There are no African, there are no Asian, there are no North American, uh, Mexican, uh, Australian jerseys or whatever. It is limited to that. But these are the jerseys that I really, really liked. Now, um, when I went over the list, I saw that actually quite a few leagues did not even make it into the top 10. And even uh, though for some leagues, it's actually the second tier that produced, in my opinion, better jerseys than the first tier. So the first tier from that country didn't make it. I actually want to start off with basically a list of best jerseys of a certain league that did not make the countdown. And we want to start in the Austrian Bundesliga where I already made a full review and it doesn't give me any pleasure to say blau weiss Linz have the best jersey in the league, although despite there being two ideas in there. If I would uh, include European jerseys for Austrian clubs, I think the Alask home jersey definitely has a say and this, both of these are on my list. No Premier League team made it. For me, the best looking jersey in Premier League is actually the Everton home. I really love the floppy collar. It's a great jersey. In Germany, it is one of those jerseys that were released for last season, the 75th anniversary jersey for Esther F. to Köln. And while it may not look in this picture, it is an absolute classic, super retro look. And I also like how the sponsors are there, but only outlines, not a complete white jersey. Great work by Hummel. Eredivisie had a really hard time. In the end, it fell to the PSV away jersey, which I think is just a class jersey. I just have some other comments, but that is for the Eredivisie review, which will come in 24. And also, no teams from uh, Liga Portugal made it into the top 10, plus the five extended ones. So I just chose the Benfica away jersey. I think it's a really, really, really nice one. The way the Olympic colors, which are also the colors of the Benfica crest are incorporated into that jersey. And La Liga, yes, we will see a Spanish team, but La Liga also didn't make it and was also a hard call, but in the end I really like the Celta Centenary jersey. Uh, just the plain blue, even the Adidas logo out there, the crest with the sash, and then also the sponsor being uh, blended in, into shirt make this a really, really nice looking shirt. So with that out of the way, let's start the countdown. We'll count down first to four, then I give you my five honorable mentions, and then we move to the top three as I do it every year. At number 10, Young Boys Baron, the home jer jersey. I love this jersey. Unfortunately, it's so freaking expensive that I didn't buy it. <laughs> uh, I, I cannot really buy it. I really love this jersey. It is simple, it's effective. It's also the only Nike jersey in the top 10 countdown. There are other brands that dominate it. But for me, this is an absolute winner. Um, really love it. Uh, number nine was a hard, was also hard call, but I have to say Fiorentina have been a guilty pleasure of mine 
over the past few years and this year they have all this flowery theme and while there are other jerseys that are quite nice i think this one takes the uh, top it is a darker purple it has the flowery pattern in an off-center stripe it kind of puts also a little bit the red in their really really nice looking jersey i gotta say number eight roma yes many roma jerseys could have made it uh, especially with the spqr and it's still something I would love to have. I would love to have a Roma jersey with an SPQR uh, sponsor. To me, it, became, it came down to two SPQR jerseys, not the Adidas home jersey. If you see my Europa League review, I'm not that fond of that one. It was between the previous home jerseys that they were in the Europa League final and the newly released Adidas black jersey. I think the other black jersey just adds a little bit more. Having the club's colors on the black background, it just makes it breathe a little bit more at the Lupetto crest and the really nice granted color. You have an absolute winner. This is a stunningly simple jersey. Uh, just a little bit on the sleeves, a little bit here, and SPQR. What more, 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 more do you want? It's an, it's one of, obviously, one of my favorite jerseys, and this also takes the title of best of Serie A for me. Number seven, another Adidas creation. Eh? There's a theme in there. Uh, I really like this Lyon jersey. Lyon are dreadful this season. And I'm even willing to look past the gold because at the moment the gold does not fit with Lyon whatsoever. However, having the French flag color and you know, it kind of uh, goes to the uh, uh, as, as a re reference to the cuisine of Lyon, Paul Bocuse, uh, Bocuse. So it's kind of a chef's shirt as well. It fits so well. This is a glorious shirt. Unfortunately, the team does not live up uh, uh, with, to, to that. Uh, and yeah, best of Liga, definitely. And <laughs> believe it or not, from now on, all the teams there that we have are not from these top eight leagues that I've been talking about. So yeah, there you go. Liga and uh, Serie A are already done. Uh, we're not quite done with these countries. In at number seven, and I purpose uh, chose here the women's jersey because it was played at the Women's World Cup, although the men's jersey also is the Ireland home jersey released by Castori. This is the first Castori shirt where I say 10 out of 10. Absolute gorgeous. I love the retro look. Uh, this is definitely on my must-have list. Uh, I have an Ireland Lennon jersey. I want this one because this is a better Ireland jersey. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the crest. I love the pinstriping in the national colors, but still dominant green. It's an absolute glorious shirt. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, I would get the men's version, not the women's version, of course. Uh, in at number five, we have another national jersey, Guatemala. Yes, never thought that, it, but Umbrot did a glorious shirt here. Guatemala always plays with a blue sash, but this time Umbro just outdid themselves. First off, the sash has a pattern which is uh, based on um, local fabrics that are worn. But I also like that the collar and the sleeve cuffs have this thin light blue with black border outline, which actually add a lot of personality to the shirt. Only thing is, make a nicer crest. <laughs> the Guatemala crest is a little bit off, I gotta say. But other than that, it's a really, really cool shirt. Uh, one that I did not expect to show up in this Kakakandama when I saw this one. Uh, I guess that this has to be in there, absolutely for sure. In at number four, the shirt that I'm wearing, the Venezia third jersey. Yes, these are not Venezia colors. However, for a third jersey, we can let loose of that. We want to have a reference to the city. And if you watched my uh, video from Venice, you probably know uh, this is a tribute to the gondoliere yeah. where the striping is a lot thinner but i still love it and they get both colors in you have the uh, marine blue the navy blue uh here but also there are the red and white ones so you have all all that uh paired with the golden logos and so on it's a really really clear shirt and i'm happy i have having a long sleeve because it actually makes it even look better um when i went to the venezia store this was the standard jersey this was the standard jersey, but that, that, the one jersey that I knew, that's the one I would like to have. And it's an absolute gorgeous shirt. So uh, no doubt about this has to be in the top 10 list. Now we're moving on to honorable mentions. These are jerseys that I have considered, but just didn't quite make it. And they are not in any particular order here. 
It was really hard for me to decide between the Valladolid away jersey and the Fiorentina third jersey. To be honest, in the end, I decided that the Valladolid crest, while monochromatic and the sponsor is a little bit too much in, in your face, that's why it's not there. But it's an absolute fabulous jersey. Best Spanish jersey released. Absolutely love this one. Another one that did not make the list is the AC Milan away jersey in my favorite design for Milan. Um, maybe again monochromatic crest and maybe the silver is taking a little bit too too much over but just uh, uh, if I would take take the logos away this is always my perfect Milan shirt maybe it could use a little bit more pos per personality on the, on the sleeve because maybe the color but I love the pattern that's on there it's very fashionable it's also based on the crest and you know the double sash through the um, logo an absolute classic this is a beautiful beautiful jersey a jersey I've been fawning over during the entire women's World Cup is the Colombia away jersey and add to it Linda Caicedo scoring that wonder goal against Germany makes it an absolute uh, stunner. Uh, it's actually now it looks a little bit more wild especially compared to the other jerseys that I have on the list but I gotta say this is a really really uh, striking and stunning jerseys. My only wish would be that the uh, three stripes from Adidas are not there, but I, I really love that. That one, especially for women's jersey, looks quite cool. Now, a little uh, off the beaten path one. Again, uh, Kahn and Idris probably will uh, be happy that I have his team in this count counter as well. I really love this away jer uh, jersey with the Marinier pattern. Uh, also the sponsor sits l above, does not feel out of, out of place and I love the little red, you know, getting the other club color in. Maybe the Norman Warrior on the crest, maybe it would be nice to see the beard a little bit more, but that's probably small potatoes, but it's, an, it's a really outstanding shirt by Kappa and a really, really nice from the French League. And the last one, this is from my buddy Yanis. I really love the Pauk uh, away jersey. White pinstripes on black is something great. Simple sponsor in there, crest, breathes nicely. Very well done. Great Macron creation. Not too many Macron jerseys on this countdown. Let's move back to the top three. These are my three favorite jerseys that have been released this year. So without further ado, number three, the women's Germany away jersey based on the German forests. Glorious, absolutely glorious. You see a, the dark green with the, uh, you know, with the, you have the pine tree pattern, you have some, the, so the leafy stuff looks already really cool, fits also with the time, you know, uh, eco-friendly, we need the forest and so on. But then golden accents just complement this jersey so well. You could have gone for some German flag colors or something, you could put in some red, no. Green with gold, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, stunningly beautiful jersey. Very serene, totally love this one. Next one is also a national team jersey and it is the 150th anniversary jersey for Scotland. Another stunning Adidas creation and you see there's a huge Adidas stamp over this countdown already. I love the restraint on this one. Uh, the England 150 year away jersey is already a pretty cool one. I think that the Scotland one tops it and I knew this will be one that will be really hard for me, to, me to get because you cannot get it. You know, this will never go on sale or whatever. So you would have to spend a little bit more cash. And for that, I have already two Scotland home shirts. So kind of would make it superfluous. But like I said, this is the most special one. So you know, uh, give or take. Uh, I love the Golden Lion. They still have the Scotland crest there, but the crest is kind of elevated on the shield and then the lion. This is cool. I love the plain white collar. The Adidas logo takes a, a, a step back, like they did on the Celta shirt. Also makes this look cool. And then um, the sleeve cuffs based on Queen's Park because they were uh, the part of the first Scotland team. It's a brilliantly done jersey. One that I would have wished to be worn more than just twice this year. It is Scotland in its purest form. Uh, really well done and absolutely stunningly beautiful yet simple jersey. So we had at number three a very patterned jersey. We had at number two a relatively simple Adidas jersey. Number one combines both of these in a jersey that 
I saw and when it was released, it is absolutely a gorgeous shirt. Then it slipped my mind and during this countdown search, it resurfaced and this is the winner for me. There, there was not even a second thought about it, uh, I have to say, because it was so clear that this is the one jersey that is the best of the year. It's from England, but crucially it's from a championship. It's the Leeds away jersey with um, the peacock feather pattern on there. It really, it is a more, it's a simple shirt, however, with a very classic, I mean, almost Art Deco looking design on there. So it has the patterning on a simple shirt. So in that way, it combines the German and the Scotland shirt really, really well. It's very pleasing color, but it's very understated. And you can definitely tell I like my dark nature colors very much. There is not a single red dominant jersey on all of this countdown that we have seen so far tells you quite some that the red teams have not been quite doing so well this time around. Um, what can, can I say? I even like the sponsor on there. It is so simple, understated, everything supremely well done. And I think the fact that you didn't choose the peacock feathers uh, in its natural state, but more in this Art Deco line and then a little bit diagonal it's brilliant. It's an absolutely brilliant shirt. I have shown this to my girls uh, and my wife and they say, wow, this is, and that for me is usually a good indication that this is a shirt. Um, yeah, I bought two Leeds shirts this year. This one, this one. Uh, it is sad to see that this is not worn in the Premier League, honestly. But hey, maybe Leeds will earn promotion through it and then it will also get its very, very special place. So there you go, my top 10 jerseys of the year 2023. Let me know which jerseys in here you did like, who are your favorite jerseys of the year, really would like to know. And yes, you can expand it to South America if you like, or outside of uh, this very narrow European window that I have, would be interesting to me too. In any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, stay tuned, there will be more year-end videos coming. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.